stew with ketchup and mustard. Caffrey is in apartment six. Doesn't look like anybody's home. <sighs> Nothing significant. See, Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? From the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can write him up for that. A citation, at least. This doesn't pertain to the case. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. No good to me.
What are we waiting for? Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? This guy was willing to rat his own mother after I'd sweated him. He was in the bathtub, and he'd taken one of his fingers. Say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. That ain't my best yet, so I gave him a dusting. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Thank you. 
Talk to Grosvenor. I've got housework to do. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Oxymoron for you. under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be the cap. Unless Tyranny set him up. I don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Nah, whoever did it. He said, what's that Dahlia fuck? How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? And then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. with one of these suspects, Jeff. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. 
All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is in one, McCaffrey is in two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. You want to win that, sir? Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Did you know Mr. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? No, sorry. Can you bring me the bag? McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I, I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. Uh, uh big... Black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Did anybody make any questions? No, the Guy gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair and love. That's the guy from the paper. 
Call that big tank. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation, that's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. What the hell? You left it in there, what? You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go, it's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. Isn't there anything else you can do? So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? You gonna call me or something? Or can I go back to sleep? Yes, okay. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn. And that it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. 
and I don't know, detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. It wasn't me. Wait here. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole yeah, Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Put it down my sap. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks. Hey, you think those vice boys are going to let us die? You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at a prison graveyard.
We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is still crazy with the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. They try for the Nambus. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Nambus and Infilate. Mate, we can lose decision, everyone. Mate, Lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. Suffer woes which hope thinks infinite to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. We ran the line on Olympic, we finally call it a month temple. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. but the killer knew about this message. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrells and murder, not to mention the Moller Hang case. on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be long. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed... What does he want? It's... Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on. We have a clue. Captain? Thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. He's a waste in the police force. Good looking boy like that should go into politics. I've been in this job 20 years. I never fired this job. Is the captain in? Goddamn captains make me resubmit the paperwork.
out of the car. Police. Wait! How will I get my car back? All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? We gotta get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with it. Rather you than me, Phelps. You know the local hobos use that as a latrine. There is a cave all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Where next? Elizabeth Short, Betty Short, Black Doll here. Elizabeth Short, Social Security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the road. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. You want a five-star goddamn wedding? He's a dream boat with That's the guy from the papers. Saw that big case. LAPD, police emergency.
You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Him. It's really him, the fuck who killed the Dahlia. Can you believe this? He's leading us. It's his game, Rusty. He may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. Suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citation. <laughs> what a day to be a cop. That pencil pushing Parker will be able to shove me aside after this. We go to Washington. Can I help you, sir? Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. Out there, Rusty. Better you than me. Be careful. Could be a trick.
Deirdre Muller's missing watch. high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? Jesus Christ, hold it off that goddamn thing. You find a roll, Rusty? There's a tie. Get me between that thing from side to side. Get it over the edge, then jump for it. That was too close. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out. You're behind the wheel. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along, demonstrating how much smarter he is. He can enjoy it while it lasts. He got you now, genius. I'm coming for you. Here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself out there. Go get him, Tiger. You'd slow me down anyway, old timer.
sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction. here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself up there. Go get him, Tiger. You'd slow me down anyway, old timer. Sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction.
Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. So this is a treasure hunt. What is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out... We still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down. They've been talking about on the radio. <laughs> LAPD, I need your car now. For quitting time or any time, Lennox beer is a cool breeze in a bottle. During hot summer days, it's the welcome relief you deserve. It's high quality taste, punches your thirst, and you can get that cool breeze all over the world. That's because the world recognizes good taste. It's the best of... You're the police? We're gonna catch hell for this. Banging up innocent men. The newspapers will crucify the guy. They won't have time to wonder about our mistakes. We'll be okay, Rusty. As long as we catch the guy. I hope you're right, Cole. Be famous if you make this case. These are my best shoes, Phelps. I'll leave you to it. Very funny. Whoa! We're gonna move on, Cole. Those boards are sinking. Move on, Cole. Those boards are sinking. You want to end up like the other faucet? The gangway snakes around, Phil. Can you see it through the car? Steady. How you doing out there? I'd be doing better if you were the one trying to get across this thing. of my thinking. Steady.
get a move on, Cole. Those boards are sinking. You want to end up like the other pumps? The gangway snaked around, Phelps. Can you see it through the car? Steady. How you doing out there? I'd be doing better if you were the one trying to get across this thing. of my thinking. which is as many thousand spheres. Okay, where to now? What is it? An open-toed white shoe, and another stanza from the poem. Oh, I really thought that hobo bum did the perils and bronze. Confessions from the insane aren't the most credible evidence, Rusty. Is this thing over? It's all part of his power over us, making us run round all over the city for the crumbs he's leaving. So if we keep this up, we can find the guy? Can you drive to this one? Well, this guy looks out for women in bars who've had too much to drink. Who are emotionally disturbed. Need a shoulder to cry on, he flies them with boots. Probably offers them a lift home. Then beats their brains out and strangles them. Any schmo hanging out in a bar. No, not anyone. He displays the bodies, leaves us messages. For all the violence, it's very controlled behavior. it goes. What do you think we'll reach the end of this thing? socks in it.
behind back? You ever been in here, Donald? No. I have no intention of going in. I heard that thing's tricky. I'm gonna wait here and have a quiet smoke. Think about hidden meetings. Altars, judgment seats, presents. No, it couldn't be. See? That was easy. I found Celine Henry's ring. How far does this thing go? How did we not catch this nut job? A week ago, this guy murdered his wife and left the body. But that's the cop who put him away. Sam's taking me out of Palm Springs for the weekend. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly? Where are we going? Can you drive to this one? He's leaving us this trail of evidence. Why? Vanity. He wants to see if there's anyone out there smart enough to catch him. He leaves us evidence, but every location is Crap. He's testing us, physically and mentally, to see whether we are worthy of him. The Titan guy. You have the stouts with God. Very good. You thinking about reading some Shelley? All that egghead stuff? No, I'm sticking to the party for Sleep in.
Jesus, now look what you did. Hang on, Paul, I'll get you off of there. You gotta make it to the next platform. Get that thing as close as you can. Now look what you did. Hang on, Paul. I'll get you off of there. You gotta make it to the next platform. Get that thing as close as you can, then jump. Writer ring. Evelyn Summers. The place he calls home. End of the line. so too. He murdered Evelyn Summers, Rusty. The last trophy was her ring. You find another piece of the poem? Yes. The last piece. You sure, Cole? Let's find out. I'm trying to justify this. Hear me out, Russ. This guy has been successfully slaughtering women for half a year, maybe longer. Researches weekly, and then plants evidence so that we always have someone to go after. If he hadn't sent the letters of the poem, he could have gone on forever. We would have been none the wiser. We would have four executed men on our conscience and have been happy about it. Why else is he doing this? The new face of the department, Phelps. Modern cop tries to understand why the curve does what it does. Me, I just drop the hammer down on my little eyes. Learn to rope and heal. Don't worry about what it's feeling. Just grind it into the paper. What's KGP Delta any unit? A citizen reports suspicious activity. 111 South Alameda. Stand by for further. For any sentry unit.
Reminds me of my days as an altar boy. There's a light coming from the house. Nothing hasty, gentlemen. Keep your hands where I can see them, or I'll be forced to redecorate the stucco with your entrails. We're from the LAPD, sir. I'm going to tell you only once to lower your weapon. The LAPD, you say? Is it really possible you could have found me after all this time? How interesting. Put down the gun, shitbird. Last warning. This boorish ignoramus could never have found me. It was you, wasn't it? Do you remember me, detective? The temp bartender. Yes, you found me. You know what I'm capable of, and yet you walk in here like lambs dressed for the slaughter. We'll see about that. <laughs> Son of a bitch, get away. The house, Rusty. There must be another entrance into the house. LAPD, give yourself up. for all his riddles. Prometheus defied the cruel gods. This guy thinks he's doing the same thing. Defying gods can be hazardous to your health. of biology. He's cruel and he's methodical. Going down there? I'll go. Call for backup and keep an eye out above ground and see where this thing comes out. Don't let me down, Rusty. You're an interesting man, detective. Why the police? Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. now or I will use deadly force. Do I get a sense you're looking for personal redemption? Do you think we have something in common? that you're exactly what I expected 
We were looking for a low achiever. He felt he understood the power. Are you comfortable out of the light box? Are you comfortable? Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. Where's the press, Cap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century, when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we'll have to play it. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, folks. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boys of advice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife. Celebrate your Breathe out, kid. You'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. 
Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an ad vice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hopheads. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? 